Welcome back to Taco Bowler Gaming. My name is Taco Bowler. Let's continue our run playing as Greece, going for freedom or death. And I am going to let Great Britain do their thing there. And if it all goes terribly for them, maybe I'll launch an invasion after that. But uh, right now, I'm I'm not inclined to to think along those lines. Interesting. Thought maybe we'd have more. We can do mountain infantry, but I think we need to in research anti-air first. Because we don't have that much planes, our hope for getting air to not matter too much is to have some anti-air in the system. That's that's pretty much the only hope we have. So, yeah, they're down to just that port. So, yeah, about that Britain. At least they did appear to get their troops back out. More Lend-Lease. Kind of why it's good for us to keep the war going. Um, I do want to get this army defense guy. Um, I think it's going to be better than army maneuver. So do we send our troops in there? We could lose a lot of troops. Is the biggest problem I see. With these guys landing on the opposite sides, we could lose a lot of troops. One convoy per month. All of our convoys are in use or gone. They're used for trade and supply. Okay. I'm getting all those those support, the lend leases. But don't worry, Canada's got, a, got our back. Romania has 14 to 60 troops. Hmm. Okay. Like, we don't have to beat Romania for any achievement, for anything we're trying to do. I don't think we have to be at peace. I don't think. We'll find out in three days. Could crush the communists now. Don't think that helps us any. Expand the steelworks. Okay, so form Greater Greece. Yeah, it's just completed the focus. So, we don't need to do this. I'm inclined not to. Oh good, there's a French invasion that's going well. That's going very well. Good job. Alright, so one more down. This will give us a research slot and can create factions. I think it makes sense to do that. Our dreams are realized, yet the world remains in peril. The lines have been drawn and Greece will have a say in how the coming conflict ends. Form Greater Greece. Greece will be known as Greece. Gain cores on all Greek states, gain cores on all Western Turkish coastal states, gain cores on Cyprus. This is why I did not um, worry about reducing the, the resistance or anything like that. We have cores. We are now known as Hellas. We can appoint this guy as Prime Minister. You take a look at what he has. Infrastructure construction, civilian construction, refinery construction... Not great. Trade deal opinion factor goes up. Um, our current ruler has daily political power gain and stability of plus five. I don't think I need either of those anymore. So sure, let's see what else is here. All right, so rename uh, a province. We control Northern Epirus. We don't have that yet. So we'll, we'll get that. We'll get that. But this completes the achievements uh, the first three achievements that we would be going for, the ones I've already gotten. We cannot form the Byzantine Empire in the same kind of run. Um, or restore Byzantium. But this completes the achievement. Istanbul is Constantinople again. If you look in here, 
that is now Constantinople is renamed as soon as we declared Greater Greece. Uh, we have both sides of the strait, so that would complete... Uh, I won the battle for the Bosphorus, and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. And um, the achievement that I couldn't find earlier. This is madness. We have fulfilled the Magali idea and formed Greater Greece. All of those are done at this point. You don't have to fight Italy. You don't have to fight Germany. You have to fight Turkey with the help of France and Britain. It, it's an insanely easy set of achievements here. I think that that is probably done. So I am going to delete these and all of these guys back to here. And now we have cores. Now we have we should have factories at the wazoo. Maybe not quite yet. Uh, let's look at resistance map. See if we have to get that down or something like that. Yeah, so these are all going to go down, but they do have to go down. But we have no occupied territories. Republic of Turkey. Oh, right. There's still some occupied territories over here. Not nearly as much as it was. I am going to put that on local police force now. And now we have factories. We're up to 12. Um, eventually, I'm going to want those in... Uh, some of those in uh, anti-air. But we don't have anti-air yet, so... Just be where we are. And um, I do think we're going to go ahead and build some submarines. You'll notice that I have steel. Some. Not a ton, but some. So that's like all there. We have infantry equipment now. Fantastic. Fantastic news. So we're going to build up some units. And we're just going to try to prepare for the coming conflict. We're still a year or so away from conflict with Italy. Oh, this naval invasion started well. You have two of the, the ports here. Come on now. You can make it happen. You can do it. Maybe you can't. Red bubbles. It is French troops. Admittedly. All right, I've got to, I got to pull some of these ships back. We've lost a bunch of ships. All right, well we're gonna pull all ships back. We're gonna bring them back to Athens. I would love to make Constantinople a capital. I bet that's in the decision line. This, this is. Oh hey, move capital Constantinople. There we go. Or move capital to Thessalonica. Gain space stability or gain base war support. I think war support far more important. There we go. And so that last one there, rename. That is all that we have. And we, we need to uh, have this here. Now, we can't justify a war goal um, against Albania. So we're going to have to take it from Italy, which obviously is not going to go well or easy. But... Yeah, you never know. Oh, hey. Um, we still have cavalry template for a reason. That's what I want the garrison unit to be. All right, do I have the anti-air yet? How long? 31 days. Um, let's get some more. In artillery. And we'll, we'll fix that later. It um, does appear that Britain may have landed, or France is, is doing better here at the port. They landed some tanks, so I guess that matters. But they're highly unlikely to continue. You're gonna need more. I think Romania is gonna wind up in the Axis, which is fine. Australia lands! Unopposed over here, by the way. Completely unopposed down south. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have trouble. But my guess is that uh, we're gonna come in and help. I would hope. All right, so maintenance companies there. We will eventually want to put them in our group. But 1939, let's get the uh, industry 
started, we're going to put a maintenance company in. I'm not going to put recon in just yet. Um, but that maintenance company will help me to steal equipment when the Italians and eventually Bulgarians do attack. And that is one of the problems, is that if Romania doesn't fall by the beginning of the war, and Hungary and Slovakia is there, German troops can get to Bulgaria pretty quickly when that matters. But it feels like Romania is starting to lose their steam. Maybe not, but feels that way. Bring one unit right there. Go on over there. Why are you not moving? You know what? No. It's not the end of the world if uh, that's there, because we're not going to be able to hold that line against Germany anyway, so that, that probably is going to wind up a thing, regardless. I'll just continue to sit here and accept lend leases. Toad anti air, finally. We're going to put three on that because we got to catch up. And that will go in here. Support anti air. Support anti air. And we do need a lot of support equipment. So maybe actually down here. Yeah, that should work. Um, we're in 1939. I think that it's more important to get these industry things going first. So we will do that. Normally Britain launches a lot more of these naval invasions and supports a lot more. You gotta think that, that Bulgaria's uh, troops are, are pretty pretty ill-supplied. Yeah, they're less supplied. So they should win the war. It's whether they win it in time. We're going to go for sophistry and science. Specialties. Sophistry. Specialties of the ancient Greeks. We now, more than ever, need bright and inquiring minds ready to transform the country and propel us into the 20th century. Focusing on technological, technological innovation means we will not be stuck playing catch-up with the rest of Europe for the next 50 years. So that will gain the national spirit, which gains political power gain and research speed. Go. Now would be the time where I would launch that naval invasion if I still had it queued. But hopefully these guys are not going in here. Hopefully they're they're naval invading somewhere else. Nope, they're going right in there. But we are starting to win those fights far more consistently. Hopefully they, they start to push out. It would be ideal if they are don't have all their troops. The French don't have all their troops down here. I'm not going to be able to do anything to protect um, air accidents chance may not be that bad of an idea. I don't need any of that. See you. Oh, infantry division attack. Is there anything here that's, that's got help on that front? No. Looks like that's the one you want. But we haven't completed the focus crackdown on foreign monopolies yet. No, we're cooperating with them, so we won't ever do that. Oh, okay. Well, we'll just get infantry equipment designer then. And that'll help uh, get some research later. Hey, you guys want to move? We, we really don't need to have 27 allied divisions stuck in Romania at the start of the war. Like, I know it's going to be a long slog of a war, no matter what, but, but I really don't need to have that. So if you could move, that'd be great. If the war could really start at any time, I'm, I'm hesitant to launch a different naval invasion. 
But I don't know. This, this, this half. Right there. That's all I'm supplying to this. We're going to try and land up here with all the divisions down there and just kind of maybe get to the river. Beta Czechoslovakia is done. If we can get here, would be good. Hey! Britain's finally trying to land. They're finally trying to do this properly. I really don't want to have to get over there. But I'm going to, because I want this to be over. I would just like this to be over. We have all of their ports now. That's good. Hold defense. Try to attack out of here. Don't know if that's going to be a good thing or not. Well, we can move in right here, maybe. Looks like we're no longer having to defend. That's good. Hopefully, uh, not all of Great Britain's troops move out. Doesn't look like they did. We're going to move half of our units across the river. Hope they get there. They did. Please defend. Good. Good. So they got their port back up here. We would like to connect for sure. But it's not going to happen. So we're just going to kind of sit here until Britain hopefully lands a naval invasion up there. If they don't, put our three. Three mountain divisions. Because they have the artillery. Sophistry and science complete. Good. We are now going to cooperate with foreign monopolies. It's only a 35 day. Oh, it requires all of the following. Oh, I have to get one of these middle ones. I don't want the middle ones. Just a free trade, but this one no longer affects anything. That's good, at least. Okay, fine. Exporting more luxury commodities. Tobacco, olives, yeah, 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 yeah. When you want the best out of life, you buy your amenities from Greece. We shall have little trouble further pushing our industrial image as the country with the best luxury products for purchase 35 days. Okay. Um, no, 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 no. Stop. Stop. You, you, and you. Stop. Stop. Shift. Activate that one. And frankly, we're just going to go all out. Go all in. Put them out. Put them on that line. Put them on that line, and you six, you're going to... Yeah? Okay. That's okay. Hey, there's another naval invasion going on. Good, 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 good. Australia lands again. This will cause them to move troops to answer that. Which is kind of the idea here. 
you three are going to go back to this. I'm going to leave that there just in case. Um, we're going to have that go. And we're going to try to help. Actually, no. You're going to go right here. Because we can, we can connect this. We can do that. That is not going to be an issue at all. And there's that. Okay, you, you help out with that. You go straight forward in here. And we're going to make our move. Hopefully it'll work. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it will work. Get in there. No. One of you up. Right, stop. We're going to just form the line. Keep the line. All right, we've connected the coastline. That's a good thing. You two move in there. You help out. You're going to come in. You're going to help out as well. Because you've got the artillery. I'm going to try to get that. Italy is joined to the Axis. All right. Expand our tobacco industry. There's no doubt our largest and most profitable export is tobacco a product that we sell all over the world. Countries we have already established a trading relationship with will surely appreciate that we have prepared our enterprise in so thorough a way that no matter what, the world shall never run short of our famous tobacco. Yeah, yeah, Italy's joined. Got it. I want you to come in here too. Molentrov Ribbentrop Pact. And yeah, they're going to hold that, aren't they? I need some help from Britain, from somebody. All right, we're going to stop that that offensive. And we'll just deal with that later. I have 403 power. I have been neglecting to spend my power. All right, let's go ahead and do the mountain infantry with that. And let's spend our power. Uh, we have plenty of manpower. Do I really need to spend the power on anything? Uh, we'll move back to export focus. Wait, no, this one of these affects that, doesn't it? Um, no, no, it doesn't. We already got that one. Yeah, let's move back to export focus. Yeah, maybe the limited exports? But I'm just I'm gonna do export focus. We're gonna leave it there. I have 141 left. Um, I guess we could do some of this stuff. Do it now. We probably need industrial concern at some point. But I'm going to leave this episode here, I do think. If you like, please do like and subscribe down below. That would really, really, really help. Boy, Italy. Italy is there. I don't know. We're not justifying against us yet, so... We should be safe from any shenanigans, but... It sure looks like Romania is, is going to be heavy. I'm... I'm going to pull out of Romania. I am going to pull out of Romania. And I'm going to prepare for the World War. Romania can just be Romania. We're going to put as many troops as we can here on Italy. And we're going to be... We're going to be good. We've got enough equipment now. I think I can train. Let's do five for now. Let's do until we run out of equipment. Okay, we're going to do that for now. And um, yeah, we're going to go down here. 
Basically, these four are now in their own unit. And I want that guy. So, um, that gives me five, gives me up to 24 in the northern armies. We gotta get enough units out to deal with Albania, but also deal with Bulgaria. We gotta cover this entire front here. Yeah, France and Britain will help a little bit, but France and Britain are just it's not gonna be that good for us here. To be honest, uh, once Germany decides to do their thing, but we will be holding out. The, of course, we were always going to have to hold out until uh, the U.S. came in anyway. But I've been talking about the gaming. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do like, please do comment, please do subscribe down below. And I will see you next time.